This one-on-one -on -one is brought to you by Quick Trip and Guaranteed Fuel. Leroy, I've heard that being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame is a life changer. Has it changed your life? This was life changing for my older kids who saw my career. Mm -hmm. But for my younger kids, didn't really see me play, they gotta go to YouTube. It was very impactful that my son, he was there when it went to knock on the door and for him to say that you made it in the Hall of Fame, that was very impactful because I, those are the conversations I had with my mom. I thought it was interesting, Leroy, that your speech was about everybody else. I think you can go to Wikipedia and find out more about me. But what you can't find is what I'm thinking. My mom passed away in 2016. We worked on my speed rock in 2009, 2010. And she said, I want you to have the shortest speech as possible. Tell the people, the people that helped you, my teachers, uh, my family, my kids, uh, Bob Harlan, Lee Rimmel, I mean, the Packer organization. That's why playing for one team means a lot to me. I don't know why God chose me to navigate these rough waters, but I think it was a perfect franchise, the Green Bay Packers, to be a part of my life. And that's what my whole speech was about. My life changed with the Packers. But again, I want to thank the fans. Without you, there is no Leroy Butler. My teammates, I love y'all. Thank you very much. Leroy, you are not only a former Packer, you are a former Packer who's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You are also a Super Bowl champion. You are everything that everybody in that locker room downstairs wants to be. You accomplished all the goals that they have. If you had a moment to give them some advice, what would you tell them? I'm a bit Matt LaFleur fan. He asked me to come talk to the team, as he did to you. And I said to myself, what can I tell these guys who are 31 and 21? I would say I accomplished it by thinking to myself, we're in a foxhole, because I love the military. I would never sleep watching your back. You can sleep. You can take a nap, I won't. If everybody thought like that, you win game. You do everything right. You have your brother's back, you're respecting your coach. You look up at the scoreboard, man, we up 30. So you don't keep looking up, you look down until it's over, then you look up and know what happened. I would tell them more than anything, if you're in your brother's foxhole, you will not sleep and you got his back. Leroy, you have had the thrill of Charles Woodson knocking on the door. Yeah. You've received your gold jacket. You've had your bust unveiled. You've gone through the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And now your name is going up on the Lambeau Field facade. What does that mean to you? Uh... My mom always said, if you're gonna get emotional, put your hand over your mouth like this, like you're gonna cough, but you won't. It's truly amazing to play for one franchise and to put your name up in the stand. Barack, I would trade my name from going up there and put my teammates and the fans' names up there. I would trade that because they're the owners. And if it wasn't for those fans, there is no Leroy Butler and it wasn't for my teammates. When they see my name, that's what I want you to think about. He loved the fan base and he loved his teammates. That's what he stood for. Leroy Butler, Hall of Fame player, Hall of Fame human being, congratulations. Thank you so much and it was an honor and a pleasure.